It's a dark, moonless night as you trudge slowly down a muddy road. Your bones creak with cold as the rain falls upon you and your party. You look up ahead and you can barely make out the lights of what might pass for a town. Perhaps it'll have a tavern. To a party of seasoned adventurers such as yourselves, what you see is but another dull tavern, and another dull town, and some nameless province. It is but another span of time between the challenges of true adventuring. Outside the tavern, a fog lies over the town this evening. The damp, cobbled pavement glistens as the lights of the street lanterns dance across the slick stones. The fog chills the bones and shivers the soul of anyone caught outside on such a night. Yet inside these tavern walls, the food is hearty, the ale is warm and frothy, a fire blazes in the hearth, and the tavern is alive with the tumbling voices of simple country folk. Suddenly, the tavern door swings open, and a hush falls over the room. Framed by this lamplit fog, a form strides through the doorway. His heavy booted footfalls and the jingle of coins shatter the silence. His brightly colored clothes are draped in loose folds about him, and his hat hangs askew but low, hiding his eyes in the shadows. Without hesitation, he walks up to your table and stands proudly in a wide stance with folded arms. In an accented voice, he says, I have been sent to deliver you a message. If you be creatures of honor, you will come to my master's aid at first light. It is not advisable to travel these woods at night. He pulls from his tunic a sealed letter addressed to all of you by name and in a beautiful flowing script. He drops the letter upon your table. Take the west road. Here, uh, perhaps five hour march down through the woods. There you will find my master in Barovia. Admit the silence and stares at the patronage, the man strides to the bar and says to the weary barkeep, Feel the glasses, one and all. Their throats are obviously parched. He drops a purse laden heavily with gold upon the bar, and with that, he leaves. The babble of the tavern voices resume. Although somewhat subdued, the letter is lying before you, and the seal is in the shape of a crest that you do not recognize.